Boom! The Oklahoma Sooners got another commitment on the 2025 recruiting cycle in Jaden Nickens. And guys, the wide receiver room for the Oklahoma Sooners, it's starting to uh, kind of fill up a little bit. And you kind of only expect maybe one or two commitments depending on if Oklahoma can land a bona fide five-star in DeCorian Moore or Andrew Marsh. But where the Oklahoma Sooners are going on the recruiting trail in terms of the 2024 recruiting cycle is absolutely just incredible. And it's something that I think Oklahoma Sooner fans 100% need to be excited about because Emmett Jones is going to have this thing locked up before the 2024 cycle even hits early signing day. Yes, you heard me right. So guys, before we do it, before we dive into it, go ahead and hit that like, hit the subscribe button, jump down in the comments below and let me know what y'all's thoughts are around the four-star wide receiver, Jaden Nickens, who is committed to the University of Oklahoma. And let's go ahead and let's take a look at Jaden Nickens. So Jaden Nickens is a four-star wide receiver out of Millwood in Oklahoma City, Oklahoma, coming in at 6'3", 190 pounds. Jaden Nickens is a guy that you expect is going to make an impact for Oklahoma and a wide receiver room that likely at this time is going to need some more talent because a guy like Jaden Gibson, Nick Anderson... Jalil Farouk, those guys might not be there. And so you need to revitalize this team with some fresh talent, which you've got five guys coming in in 2024. One of those guys you expect to potentially be a tight end, but it's not necessarily something that I think Oklahoma is going to have to worry about because the depth's going to be there. Now, when you look at Jaden Nickens, he is a consensus four-star across the board. With on three, he's the number 117th ranked player. With 247, you see him here, the number 88th ranked player. ESPN has him at 136, and Rivals has him at 200. Now, Jaden Nickens overall in the composite rankings is 119. So this is a guy that you think, hey, if he goes out there and puts up another good junior or a senior season, Jaden Nickens could potentially go out there and be a top 100 player by, by the end of this 2025 cycle. Sorry, guys. I got a little choked up there. But Jaden Nickens, if you're Oklahoma, you had to go out and you had to battle 11 other schools here. But ultimately, you add the fifth commitment into this class. And as we kind of look at what Jaden Nickens is able to provide Oklahoma, I want to go ahead and kind of share some of his huddle film because – I know that this is something a lot of you guys like to watch. You guys like to see the players. And one thing you're going to notice about Jaden Nickens right off the bat is the dude will go up there and he's going to grab the 50-50 balls. You see him right down here in the bottom left-hand part of the screen. Takes the ball right there. Makes the defenders go. Right there. Taking it to the house. So the one thing you see here, he's got some elusiveness. Now, as he goes into his junior and senior years, I would like to see if maybe he's able to increase that speed a little bit. If he's able to turn it up just a notch, maybe Jaden Nickens is a guy that could potentially be a top 75, maybe even a top 50 player. But that's just going to come down to increasing that speed a little bit. You play in Oklahoma, uh, so you know, you've got to kind of have all of the intangibles working in your favor but let's kind of recap this class for Oklahoma a little bit because as you guys are watching the film, I think it's important that we look all of this over. So right now, you have Kevin Sperry, the three-star quarterback committed currently in this class. Then you have Elijah Thomas, the four-star wide receiver in that before Jaden Nickens, the highest-ranked recruit in the class. Out of Chicota, Oklahoma, a guy that was recruited by Alabama, Texas A&M, but shuts it down. Kevin Sperry is a recruiter, and he's just that dude. Then you had a guy like Grayson Harris, a guy that's going to be a dual-sport athlete for Oklahoma. He's going to play football, and he's going to play baseball. And then you look at Kamori Moore, the defensive lineman, right? So now you have three wide receivers, a quarterback, and a defensive lineman. So you look at how this class could really shape up, because we did a 2025 
kind of just review for you guys not too long ago. If you guys haven't, you need to go check that out. And I can drop that down in the comments below so that you guys can go check out that video and who I think potentially could land in this 2025 class for the Oklahoma Sooners. But you look at the tight end position. I like Chase Lofton. And obviously, you're starting to see a guy like Nate Robertson who might flip from Notre Dame. And then you look at some of the other targets on the defensive line. Xavier Ukponu out of Denton Geyer. You have Ethan Utley out of Nashville, Tennessee. You look on the offensive line where Oklahoma can flat just kill it, where you have Michael Fasusi. You have a guy like Ty Haywood, Lamont Rogers. You have the two kids out there at Bishop Gorman. Oklahoma's 2025 class, and I know we've said so much about the 2024 class being the class for Oklahoma. The 2025 class really could shape up to be the best class for Oklahoma. And that's saying a lot. Because in 2024, as we're recording this, you still expect to potentially land Williams Winery and David Stone. So if you still land those guys and you land Dominic McKinley, it's going to set some high expectations. But a guy like the five-star safety Jonah Williams, a dual sport athlete, a guy that's definitely going to want to play baseball and football, is going to give Oklahoma their look. And so to kind of wrap it up a little bit with Jaden Nickens and the University of Oklahoma and what this does for the football program. So, yes, you're bringing in a guy that's 6'3", 190 pounds, a dual sport athlete, plays basketball and football in high school. He is now the fifth commitment in this class. And really gives Oklahoma a 92.43 composite score. Bringing them, if you look in the team rankings, this is the exciting part. In the 2025 class, leaving them at number four, but bringing them within two points of the Oregon Ducks. Two points of the Oregon Ducks, who right now have four commits. They have three four-stars and one three-star. Oklahoma has three three stars. They're going to have, or three four stars, and eventually we'll have one more. But they're going to be telling Alabama and Georgia. Alabama has two five stars. Georgia has three five stars. But you would imagine, as we potentially see the amount of people that a coach can take in a class back to 25, you're going to potentially see this class fill up a lot quicker. I expect to see a recruitment like Gus Cordavo to wrap up by early signing day here in 2024. There's a specific linebacker that I know is going to be here in this class. It's just kind of waiting to figure out how he's going to be able to commit, if that's going to be later this year or towards maybe the middle of next year. We'll just have to kind of wait and see there. But I know Oklahoma has at least two or three more 2025 commits that could drop really at any time. So you look at this class, you look at where the 2024 is, 2025 is off to a hot, hot, hot start. And they could be trailing Alabama and Georgia pretty quickly. They could be right on their toes, going for a number one class. I want you to think about that for a second. Oklahoma, a number one class. So guys, go ahead, jump down in the comments below. Let me know what y'all's thoughts are. I'd love to hear from you. What are your thoughts about the four-star wide receiver, Jaden Nickens?